90.3 KEXP, where the music matters. Smokey Brights, live here on the Midday Show. How are you all? Wonderful. We are great. <laughs> I'm glad you were here. It's nice to be in during a normal hour to have a band play, too, so I'm excited about that. So if you're ready to go, we're ready to, to hear some music. You're stubborn, you're silent, you're a shadow in my cave, a thought that slips away, an adequate display, a bird I never see, but sometimes hear. Was it high school? Was it that bad? Did they shackle you with doubt? But when you finally made it out, did you show those people good? Will you never be so small again? If I can change your mind.
Black bird in my window, black dog at my door. Black thoughts in the evening, you try to ignore. When by your house the other day, KEXP, Smokey Brights, live here on the morning show. Guys, that's a killer song. I love that song. Music supervisors who are listening need to use that song. Just right now. That would have worked in True Detective, I decided. Awesome. Where were they? Man. They got another season coming. Oh. I don't know if it's going to be as you dark. call their people, man. I should call somebody. That's such a great song. I think great. it just builds. It's so nice. Got a lot of love on my show, for sure. Yes. And I love the record. A Taste for Blood, a great album, and uh, we've been a big fan of it here at KXP. Great feedback, so it's nice to have you in the studios again. You've been here before. Yes, two years ago. I would like to point something out from two years ago, yeah. if you might. Uh, it says here, you're, I'm going to quote you. Okay. <laughs> Last time we did it in studio here at KXP, we found five full bottles of chocolate sauce in their kitchen. We did. Who knows what sorts of treasures we'll unearth this time around. <laughs> now, i like to show the evidence to our video team here. You can just get that on there. That would be the band eating the chocolate sauce. You can't um. see that on the radio. But now we know where the goddamn chocolate sauce went. It was these guys. Yeah, I'm surprised you invited us back, actually. <laughs> video evidence that we took all your chocolate. Whoops. I don't know why we had five bottles of chocolate sauce. It was kind of insane. You guys asked us to do a, a, a photo, and we're like, let's make a funny photo. And then we just like went to go get water, and we opened the fridge. We're like, why do they have so much five full bottles of chocolate sauce? We'll have like 20 gallons of milk, and then nothing else in that fridge. So it's always a crap. I'm glad it wasn't milk. That would have been just... You would have felt sick after <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, it would have been really gross. I thought that was hilarious. So nice work on the uh, on the picture, too. We did invite you back, so let us know what you find this time. Okay. Although that was on a Saturday night, right? Yeah. It's going to be a little harder to do during the daytime hours. We're pretty here sneaky. At KEXP. <laughs> so the other thing, um, I know you have a show coming up. I want to talk about that for yeah. sure. But you were announced as one of the Sasquatch yes. bands. Yes. Yeah. So tell, tell everybody how that feels as a local band, especially to be invited to Sasquatch. Man, uh... I don't know. I remember like going for the first time in high school and I was like, called my mom, like mom going to this music festival. Every band that like defines me is there. <laughs> and uh, I went and it was awesome. Uh, and then I don't know. It, it's, it's a huge deal. Like last night we were getting dressed for bed and I was just thinking about it. And I was like, I can't believe I'm going to play the gorge. Yeah, the gorge. Like, <laughs> I spent so many formative teenage years going to Warp Tour. Yeah, you did. All, you know, was I like, was out there for Lollapalooza, the Beastie <laughs> Boys. Yeah, yeah. I was there at the Pearl Jam show where I got crushed, 
It oh, like, man. And that show, I yeah. I was gonna, I'm kind of proud of it now. But at the time, <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I thought I was going to die Not at a Blink-182 show there. Yeah. Like, I think serious, most people feel that yeah, way. Yeah, it was really, <laughs> it was really rough. <laughs> so now you're going to play it. So when you're a band that's going to play, you can't tell people you're going to play it until the announcement. So when did you... When were you asked? When does that happen? How how was and it? We've known for like three weeks, a month, a month? maybe a month. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah. When we got when we got asked in the offer, like I I remember Kim was working from home and I mostly work from home, and I was like, babe, we just got an offer for Sasquatch, and like we started like jumping up and down in the living room. <laughs> it was just like you know. What if you had a member of the band where you were and it was like, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You're like, well. Shoot, we're going to have to be a four-piece now. Yeah. Uh, so you were excited, but you can't really tell anyone, right? You no, gotta, we could not. We, so have, we have other things we can't tell people, too. It's infuriating. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Isn't that weird as a band? You have, you have to not tell people stuff. <laughs> to get good at secrets. That's right. But let's talk that. about the other show, too. I don't want to get yeah. too ahead. So you have a show coming up right at Numo's. Numo's, the 21st. 21st. Of this fair month. It's my birthday. It's Kim's hey, birthday. that's nice. Yeah. yeah. playing your birthday. you got a lot of good shows coming up. Yeah. Birthday yeah. show, Sasquatch show. Yeah. So what is there any... What's, uh, what's the deal with the show? Uh, so that's the Grizzled Mighty. Uh, that's their record release. So they invited us to support them on that. That's a good record. It is a good record. I you learned, guys have been spinning that too. I played it today. I learned it was Ryan's birthday today. From oh, Mighty, so whoa. They're Aquarius. February, baby. It was just my birthday a couple days ago. See, this is all coming together. Mm -hmm. uh, so you put the, the record out late last year. Yes. You November. are playing some shows. Yeah. And then what do you have after the, are these things you can't talk about? Uh, we've got uh, some other festivals that we can't talk about. Uh, we've got a tour uh, yeah. in late March, yeah. early April. Probably head down the West Coast, maybe get into, get into Vegas. And see what kind of trouble we can get into there. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have to say Vegas that way. Uh, yeah. Call it we've, got, we've got a music video about yeah. to come out, shooting another one soon. Uh, we've got lots of fun stuff. That's great. And we're like feverishly writing what we think will be the next record, hopefully. Is there track a good spot that. with that? Yeah. I mean, we tracked Taste for Blood in January of 2014. So, so you're over a year. Of we're over a year of, of yeah. hanging and, and writing new stuff. So Good for yeah. you. Yeah, we got some fun new stuff. Well, we look forward to it. We really like this record, obviously. And right. you got a couple more. Are you going to play from the album? Yes. Two, right. two more from Taste for Blood. So again, uh, Smokey Bright's playing the 21st at New Mo's and will be out at Sasquatch this year, opening for Blink-182. They're on the bill. <laughs> They're the headlight. Kendrick no. and Blink-182. Right, got it's it. Just <laughs> it's just Travis. It's just Travis.
been quite a long time If you really wanna know If you really wanna know Yeah, I still haven't changed my mind If you really wanna know Live here in Kegsby. This one goes out to Eli, my littlest brother. He's 15 years old today. Love you, Eli.
I'm almost sure Everybody's down, I'm moving KEXP, Smokey Brights, live here on the morning show. Sounding great. I'm still. I'm going to feel that bass later today. Yeah. Throughout the day. <laughs> Jim never leaves you. It's going to be with me all day. It's a good thing. Uh, the album is Taste for Blood. They have a show coming up again at Numo's with the Grizzled Mighty on February 21st. Just announced as a Sasquatch band as well. Great work today. Thanks hey. so much. Congrats. Thanks for all your support as a station too. Man. Yeah, yeah. And a reminder that these sessions don't happen without uh, the donations that come into KXP, being the non-commercial station that we are. And... Not that we don't love the hot yoga studio that is the KXP Performance Space. <laughs> Definitely spent out some time. But we're very excited about our new home and building a new home for uh, the bands to play in and yeah, to uh, have a place to go to. So a reminder to support KXP, especially this year as we uh, are moving into our new home. We will miss no air. The, <laughs> yeah. We will miss that. I feel for everybody here. I'm always. a sweaty guy, but not this, this sweaty. Well, the video team, too. These guys are, do such a great job and uh, have, you know probably have lost a lot of weight in here in the hot yoga studio thanks to yeah. kevin as well our video team our audio team everybody helping on these in studio sessions and uh check out the smoky brights if you get a chance especially out of sasquatch what a great i mean a lot of people are going to discover you guys out there which is what you go to these festivals i, I think so. for is discover yeah. music not just the bands you already know so it should be fun good luck thanks. i'm psyched for you guys thanks. Thanks all right so i'm going to finish up cheryl's show and uh get out of this room because it's too damn hot it's 90.3 <laughs> kxpcl <laughs> Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.